Welcome back. So first half of this week, a bunch of different things going on. Uh, first thing, I wanted to create this fixture which would work um, on our bandsaw table there so I can hold um, this exhaust pipe and intake pipe so I can cut it correctly across the uh, across the bends that we're going to get in there because we're going to get uh, you know radius bends and they need to be cut correctly. So I created this fixture and just welded it up and just out of some scrap steel that we had laying out the back. And the idea is that it slides along the table there while holding um, the pipe in place and then we get a nice um, accurate cut and so the idea is you know you can set the angle there um, using the level and uh, then just basically push that along and it will cut right at the right point anyway so we'll see how that works out um, once we get our steel or sorry get the uh, tubing for the exhaust because I've ordered what we need that what you're looking at there is basically some scrap that's too thin for what we need to do um, anyway, so that's one th project out of the way and that's going to help us uh, get all the piping done for the uh, turbo setup. And next up, Zach and Devin laid up the underside piece for the glare shield. So this is the piece that um, contains the um, mounting sort of position for the autopilot and also the basically the underneath piece of the cowling. So um, that uh, wasn't really difficult to do and here you can see they've already got it um, bagged there under vacuum. So just pretty simple sort of stuff this one, it's just a bunch of layers of um, carbon and no core or anything like that, so it goes quickly. And just to recap from the weekend, so this one uh, got trimmed as you can see on Saturday, so it's all nice and trimmed around the outside. And then uh, the other one sitting next to it has had all the um, foam put on top and glassed in, so that one now is just waiting to be trimmed around the outside and that would complete both of the lower wing skin um, molds so moving along quite nicely with those and then today Zach laid up this one so this is the front half of the intake tray for the scoop that's on the roof um, and that sort of mates up with the aft bulkhead so that one's all laid up and you'll see that soon when it gets popped out and here's the one from the day before so it hasn't been um, released yet I don't believe I didn't ask I just saw it sitting there so I just grabbed some video of it but anyway it's got all everything sort of peeled back off there and it's probably just curing up a little bit more um, before Jeff um, pops it from there so but that's looking nice and obviously that well that whole back area there that's the big flat area that's going to be cut out because it just becomes um, the panel where um, all the instrumentation is going to be and Jeff picked up our nose gear and uh, main gear from the powder coaters today and I reassembled the nose gear leg so that's all back in shape now looking really nice we've got everything done in a black satin finish and sitting next to it there there's a fork and so I just need to um, get the necessary bolts there to bolt those two uh, together and this is our intercooler that arrived today so it's a little small kind of compact one but I think given that we're going to be up at altitude and there's going to be nice cold air up there, I think it's going to do the trick. But anyway, that's why we're at experimental aircraft. We're going to have to try all this stuff and just see what works. So the project for today was to lay up the mold for um, the first of the upper wing skins. And so this is the one here, the plug, and Jeff obviously sprayed it down with the black top coat. And the guys have gone and um, laid down the cabosil. Uh, mixture around there where the uh, rubber profile is and where there's any other sort of sharp sort of edges or anything like that and here you can see they're putting down the first layer of glass and again this is a glass one because um, we won't actually be baking the part in the mold the wing will be post cured as one uh, complete thing in its own fixture sort of once it's all put together And lastly, I finally found a reason to buy a 3D printer. So we got this one, um, pretty good deal, under $400 with a 12 inch by 12 inch platform, can print up to 15 inches tall. And the goal here is to experiment with trying to print out ribs that we can basically just lay down on a flat board and then pull a mold off directly. So skip that whole process of having to mill the foam and you know create the platform and glass it and spray putty and mill it again and sand it and prime it and all that good stuff because most of these ribs are all basically what you see there um, sort of straight up now obviously that's a tiny example of a rib but it's just just testing out the printer so I've got a whole bunch of stuff to learn now about you know how to get the best quality um, of what we need and then we're going to give it a try I'll put a couple of these down and see how it goes for pulling a mold 
and if it all goes well that'll save us a ton of time in terms of you know not having to create the plugs and only having to create the molds anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching